I'm Chris. I'm here to show you another creative activity series brought to you by the Kirby Cultural Arts Complex. We will be releasing an activity page on a quarterly basis. The activity pages will include a coloring section, a vocabulary section, as well as a creative activity. There will be a corresponding video released that goes over each quarter's creative activity. While the activity page is released on a quarterly basis, the videos and downloadable PDF will be available online anytime you wish to use them. We encourage you to make use of this content in your homes and classrooms. They're also a great resource for caregivers. If you can't access the content, feel free to contact the Kirby and we will provide you with a printed copy. We hope you enjoy the upcoming activities and be sure to connect with us online so that you stay up to date on the most recent releases. Along with the coloring and vocabulary activity, your page comes printed with a stage that looks just like the real Kirby stage. When you're making your puppet show, consider cutting a slice into the bottom of the stage so that you can put the feet of your template into that line. I'm going to show you what that looks like. On this template, I've drawn a tree. It's a cute little tree with a hole in it. It fits just into that slit and it looks like there's a tree growing out of the stage. If you want more upstage and downstage action in your puppet show, you can cut more slits. Also consider cutting out the entire stage and taping it to a shoe box or a cereal box to make it last longer. When you're making your puppets, feel free to be as creative as you like. There's no limit to what you can make. I have made a tree, and for my puppet show, The Duck and the Human, I have two characters. I have taped them to sticks so that I can drive them around and make them have happy, happy, fun times, and they can talk a little bit. Quack. Yeah. Since I only have two characters in my show, I had plenty of puppet templates left over. So I was able to make some costume changes. For example, my duck got stuck in a bush, so I used one entire template to show that bush with the duck. Quack. Another fun thing to do with the puppet templates is fold them in half and turn them into signs. While my duck is stuck in the bush, many seasons come and go. So I wanted to make sure that the audience knew that. So I have my four seasons written on here. Spring, summer, winter, and autumn. And I taped them to a pin so that I could bring them in and out ever so wonderfully. While you're making your puppet show, I want you to experience the freedom of creation. You aren't limited to this sheet of paper. You can express yourself as freely as you wish. I encourage you to use other sheets of paper, cardboard paper, construction paper, markers, pencils, glue sticks, sparkles, googly eyes, anything you can find to tell your story. You are free to create a story that no one has ever heard. And you are the only one who could tell that story. When you finish your show, perform it for as many people who will watch. If nobody's around to watch, perform it for yourself. Enjoy the freedom of creation. The Duck and the Human There once was a toy duck who lived on the magical waters of Heiko Marine, a lake in Personia. Quack! The duck's best friend was a human. The human was kind and sweet, but they could not see very well. Oh no! I cannot see very well! That's okay. Quack! One day, the duck drifted into a bush, and the human could not see to find them. Oh no! I lost my duck! Quack! Many seasons came and went, and the duck began to lose hope that they would ever see their human again. Oh no, I am lost! Quack! Then, one foggy morning, the duck saw their human. I am back and I have glasses so I can see you! The human saved their duck from the bush and gave them a magical hat that let them swim all over on their own so that the duck and the human would never be separated again. The end.